Hello Aquarius viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, or, you know, occasionally the cards end up talking about money or about something personal you're going through, but it's often about love, but it's really just whatever story the cards want to say, whatever the cards want to tell you here. Um, just bear with my camera. It takes a minute to adjust as I put the cards down, but it will level out after I've got the cards out here. As always, if you'd like to book a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awell.com, and that email is right below in the description box below this video. You can just copy and paste it, and my donation links are also below, so any donations are appreciated. Thank you, guys. But yeah, let's see what's going on here. You got trapped, blocked, tied up. Chaser, chasey, power struggle. Make your move, green light, codependency, addiction. Hmm, it's an interesting energy. Yeah, like I said, just bear with my camera. It will level out after I put the cards down. Divine intervention, synchronicity, sex, and seduction. Waiting, hoping, praying. Soulmate, past life, soul contract, choose a path. Gotta choose a path here. What else? Manipulation and deception, mental instability. Okay, so what does the other path look like? You've got two options here mutual feelings, emotional depth, isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Hmm. I get a really emotional energy from this. Like I get a, from this other person, this other path that you can go down. It could be a new person for some of you. For some of you, this is a past life connection and you're close to meeting this person. And, you know, it's just going to be that in instant spark. Like you guys have known each other for, you know, your whole lives. But for a lot of you, I actually feel like this is a past person. And I just I get this like really emotional, really romantic energy. Like this person is saying like it wasn't over for me. Like it was never, like there was no closure here. You guys didn't really have that closure. I feel like this is someone where you guys were happy, but maybe like family or friends separated you guys. Or one of you had to move for work. Um, maybe their kid didn't like you or your kid didn't like them. It's like one of those situations where you guys were deeply in love and they wanted to stay with you, but something came up and got like life just got in the way somehow. And I really get the sense that there was never closure. Like you guys didn't really want to close that door. It didn't feel this. This feels like destiny to me. Like it, it feels like this is someone that was just so different than anyone you've ever dated. If you're in this energy group, you know, it's either your story or it isn't. But if it is. If it is your energy group and it is your story, it's like I just I just hear this person saying it wasn't over for me. Like it's almost like like I'm seeing like the notebook. Like it's like it's it's it's, it, it's intense. It's emotional. Like I just feel like this it just wasn't over for this person. Um, maybe one of you were just going to school or you had a job or you just had other things that you were focused on and you couldn't give the relationship the time that it deserved. You know, this could even be like an old high school love. It just feels like this person hasn't gotten over you. And yeah, it feels like there was no closure. Like you guys might have ended on good terms. I'm not saying that you necessarily didn't, but it just feels like you guys didn't really want to close that door. You had to close the door because of circumstances or other people. Could be like a third party drama or something that got in the way. But it just it just feels like it was just like never over for this person like like it felt wrong leaving this person and they felt like whether you left them or they left you, it just, it didn't feel right. Like in your heart, it's like someone's gut. I don't know if they left you or you left them, but someone's gut was just like screaming at them. Like this isn't right. You need to stay with this person and figure it out with them. It might not be as easy as you hoped it'd be, you know, so which would make sense in like a third party or with family drama or, you know, maybe they're, they're, focusing on work or they just have a lot on their plate or maybe that was you that could have been you that made this decision that you know you just don't have the time and energy to to focus on them and to give them what they deserve um so whether it was you or them it's like someone's intuition here was just screaming though like this isn't right like you guys need to figure this out together you need to get through this 
together, you know, even if it's messy, even if it's dramatic, even if things can't be perfect. Um, and this could be also like a long distance situation where maybe, maybe someone had to go off into the military or they had to, um, like had some kind of like obligation where they had to leave, like leave the state or the country or something for some of you. Um, and so they wanted to stay with you, but it's like, they really just, they couldn't give you what you deserved at the time. But it's like someone's intuition was just screaming at them that it was, it was wrong and that they needed to, to work through this with you. Um, sometimes it reminds, like, sometimes I get like movie clips. That's, that's part of my intuition because I love movies. So sometimes like my spirit guides will talk to me that way. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Family Man with Nicolas Cage where, you know, opening scene, he's going off to New York to focus on, um, on, I, I think his career or whatnot. And, you know, she's crying and she's, ha she's saying she has a bad feeling, like, don't get on the plane, just stay here with me and we'll figure it out together. Even if we don't have all the money, it'll be fine. Just stay with me. And, you know, he says he has to go. And then like 10, 15 years later, they're not together. You know what I mean? Like they, they had that plan together that he was going to go off and make money and then they were going to come back together and they never came back together. And then the family man is basically showing him what his life would have been like if he had just listened to her and just stayed and just work through the drama and work through the mess with her. But, um, but I'm seeing two different energies here. So there's two different men or two different women. Um, and one of them, I feel like this person it's like they feel alone and they miss you. They feel isolated. You know, the feelings are mutual. This emotional depth, it's like they, I want to look more into this, but but this person really misses you. And like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. But like I said, that's right below in the description box. Donations are appreciated. But um, but yeah, it just, it feels like maybe you haven't talked to this person for a long time for some. It feels like this could be, this could be like a high school sweetheart. It could be someone that it's like you guys were just so deeply in love. And maybe you underestimated the like the the drama and the circumstances around you. Like this could be a situation where you guys were just so in love and so sure about each other that you thought, you know, oh, it'll, it'll be fine if I go off to college. Or they thought, you know, it's fine if I go off to college or to work or to the military or... If, you know, we take a break or whatever it might be, they, they, you know, you guys thought your relationship was so strong and I think you guys just kind of grew apart. Um, but it, but yeah, it just feels like there was just no closure. Like you guys didn't really want the ending. You have this other person over here, but I almost feel like for, not for all, but for some, this is more like a, like a F buddy situation or it's like you're being used for sex or you're. I just feel like whoever this other person is, they kind of treat you. So there's two different people here. Whoever this other person is, I feel like they just kind of treat you like old reliable. Like you guys either aren't together and they're really short with you when you try to message them or try to make plans. It's like they're flaky They're You can't tell what they're feeling. You're kind of just left in the dark. You're just confused. And this is like an F boy or an F girl. I don't want to swear but just because I mean, I, I swear sometimes it slips out, but I also don't want YouTube to get mad at me. <laughs> But, um, it seems like a situation where someone's, this person is very, like, lost, insecure, like, not sure of what they want. I don't feel like they're loyal to you. I'm not going to lie. And if this is your story, so please only take this if it resonates. Don't try to make it fit. You know what I mean? Like, this is either your story to a T or it's not. And there's different, there's different variations, you know what I mean? Like, but it's the same energy group. So don't try to make, don't try to force it to fit. Like you'll, you'll know this intuitively if this is you. And there's different reasons here. I mean, this isn't, I don't want to say that every single, like for everyone here that they're using you for sex, but it just feels like the energy of someone who's like wishwashy. Like they're just kind of flaky. They're kind of like unsure of themselves, non-committal, um, emotionally unavailable. I almost feel like they're, they're, for some, I feel like they're in love with someone else and they're using you to get over that third party. Like you're kind of like a rebound for them. I hate to say it, but it just, it feels like two different energies, like someone who can kind of has like this take it or leave it mentality when it comes to you. And then someone who's deeply in love with you and never really got over you seems like two very different energies it's like you guys have been trapped because maybe there's like a power struggle here 
I feel like it could be codependent with them. Like they're co this like this this other person, this kind of toxic person that I'm getting here. Like they might be kind of like codependent on you, um, or you're codependent on them. But it's like I don't know. I just feel like it's like familiar. You know what I mean? Like like they want to change you. It's kind of the energy I get. I hate to say it because I know that hurts. And it's not. It's nothing that you did wrong. It's like you're just you're above them. You're better than them. You're you're just not. You know what I mean? It's like if you're kind of weird or out there, it's like they want you to be normal. Or if you're kind of, um, you know, adventurous, they want you to tone it down. Or they want you to do this or do that. It's like they. It just feels like the energy where they want you to be someone else. And it's nothing wrong with you. It's just it's them. For some, I really do feel like they're in love with someone else and they're trying to make you be that person. They're trying to replace that person. And so that's why they keep like trying to get you to, to dress a certain way or talk a certain way or be have a certain personality. And you're like, what the hell? Like, just let me be myself. Um, and for a lot of you, I just feel like this like might be like an on and off situation where it's like, like you guys are kind of codependent on each other when you're like lonely, but it's like deep down, you know that you want more than this person. And they know that they want something else as well. Like you guys know, it, it's almost like you just, you don't, you guys don't want to be alone. So it's like, you kind of deal with each other. Like you guys deal with the drama, but deep down, you kind of both know that this is not your end all be all. You know what I mean? Like this, like they know you're not the one and, and you know, they're not the one, but you guys are kind of, you guys have kind of been settling for each other. For some, I don't even know if, like, for, you know, for those that aren't even in a relationship with per this person, I almost feel like this is someone where it's, like, they're just kind of flaky with you, kind of unsure. Like, you know that there's something better out there, but you're also tired of waiting and you're tired of being alone. So you're just taking the breadcrumbs that you can get. And you got to just say, screw the breadcrumbs. It's, it's not worth it. You know what I mean? I would cut this energy out. This person just seems like... Like, just not worth it. I almost feel, though, like, maybe some of you are doing sex magic or you're doing, um, like, you could be very seductive. You could be, like, using that energy, like, tapping into that feminine energy. Even if you're a man, I feel like you're still tapping into that feminine energy, if that makes sense. We've got divine intervention, synchronicity here. We have waiting, hoping, praying. And then it's like you have this soulmate coming back around, you know? And, you know, we, we clarified because we have to choose a path. And it's like, okay, you can... Be deceived and keep the blindfold on with this person that's mentally unstable and possibly bipolar, you know, hot and cold, not sure about you. Or you can go down this other path with this person that's crazy about you. Let, let's see the other person. This could also be someone that doesn't know how to find you. Like this could be like a high school sweetheart or this could be like a... um. I almost want to say it could be like a neighbor or someone who like sees you around, but maybe they, um, well, no, because I feel like this would be someone that you'd, ha you'd have a history with, you know? I mean, I don't, I don't know why they'd feel so strongly about you if they, if you didn't have that history. It does feel like someone that you've had that history with, unless it's just someone, unless it's someone that just knows like a psychic, like maybe if you run into this person and this person is a psychic or a witch or something and they know about past lives so they know the history you have so they have all these deep feelings for you but like you're I don't know it's probably just for, for one person here but for the majority of you know I feel like this is someone where it's like you guys just were crazy about each other but you didn't have that closure like the feelings were there tell me more about this this other person yeah, some of them can't find you. I mean, some of them, it's like maybe it was just like a missed opportunity where it's like they don't have your phone number or your email or your contact info. Like maybe this is someone that you like for some, this is like a high school sweetheart where it's like you guys were together in high school and it's like you guys were madly in love. You're like you were just young and in love and just it was passionate and you re they really wanted to spend their life with you and then life got in the way. You know, maybe someone went off to college here. But, um, but, like, maybe they just can't find you. Like, they don't, you know, maybe you have them blocked or, like, they just don't know how to get a hold of you. So I got happiness, warmth, light, clubs, parties, social life. They might go to places that you used to go trying to, trying to find you. Or they might also... Um, 
be like nostalgic so they might go like let's say you guys lived in the same hometown and you moved out or they moved out or something they might go to like this the old places that old stomping grounds like clubs or or restaurants or um I'm hearing for someone like the lake I don't know does that make sense to anyone like there's like a I see a lake um maybe that you guys like maybe used to drive to and like used to like drink beers or something or just sit by the lake and just watch like it was really romantic like you guys would go there at night I think that's for someone specific but um but yeah it's like they go to all those old places I feel like to th that's it reminds them of you it hurts them but it like reminds them of you at the same time overthinking over analyzing self-sabotage yeah, they want reconciliation with you. And they want a new start with you. For some, though, too, you might have this other drama. Like some of you, I mean, not all of you, but some of you are with this other person where it's codependent and toxic and it's on and off. And like maybe mutual friends are saying, oh, yeah, he or she is taken. Like they're they're still with this person. And so like, the, you know, this, this person that really loves you and thinks the world of you and just thinks that you're like the one that got away... Um, they want you back. They want a new start with you, but like they don't know if you're with this other person. For some, not for all of you, but for some of you. But yeah, they want to come in strong. They want to they want to make you these promises, loyalty, stability, vows. Like they don't want to let anything get in the way again. Yeah, some of them are spying on your social media. I feel like they feel confused though for some. It's like they feel so nostalgic and so emotional about you, but like some of them feel like like there's miscommunication. Like some of them feel like you moved on. The truth is coming out in someone's dreams, either your dreams or their dreams. I feel like maybe you're maybe they're suddenly popping up in your dreams or you're popping up in their dreams. Like there's like some kind of telepathic communication here. So if things are confusing in the physical, sometimes you have to kind of dig deep. And, um, you know, focus on your dreams, on, on you know, communicating telepathically. Uh, I know it's tricky, but, um, but yeah, and if, if this is your story to a T and you know who this might be and, like, you have their contact info but they don't have yours, like, give it a try. I mean, full disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anything you do or don't do as a result of these videos you know, that's your, your life is your own. It's totally up to you. I'm not going to, you know, for some, it's going to go off for some, it isn't like, but I mean, if it is this person that I'm channeling, if it, I mean, if it is, if you're in this energy group and this is the energy, you know, if this is your story, then I do see like, most likely it's going to go well for you. If you got the right person, you know, um, you know, make sure you know who this person is, but I would say like, you know, just if you have someone's number and they don't have yours, just hit them up. If you feel like this is, this describes them like you guys had that deep romantic relationship like you guys really loved each other um you guys just underestimated life I guess you just you you just figured you 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 know someone figured they could go off and take care of things and come back when things were more stable and it turns out they couldn't so you know now this person's wanting a second chance here they're wanting to come back around the, the door never really closed here but, um, but yeah, as I've said, if you want a private reading, just email me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please, um, please subscribe to me if this resonates with you, if this is your story. I do these fairly regularly. Uh, please share in case someone on your, your Facebook or Instagram or social media just wants to, needs to hear this message. Please like, comment. Thank you guys so much for watching.